Nigeria in dire need of homegrown solutions for local challenges. Lightly successful Nigerian entrepreneurs, established economists, and other relevant players got a new core for another critical national assignment to help the nation's economy. It's Nigeria that is calling, not a political. An experienced man himself, now at the helm of affairs, recognizes the importance of the private sector to shore up the largest economy in Africa. The administration in July 2023 declared state of emergency on full security, but there are still fundamental hurdles to scale toward achieving food sufficiency and a greater economy. Abysmally low power generation, insecurity, dwindling revenue are topmost in the identified challenges which the federal government is directing efforts at for social and economic development. We must increase our oil production too, to 2 million barrels per day within the next few months. Remove all barriers for entry investment into the sector to enhance competitiveness. And uh, we must increase our staple crops by small older farmers. Uh, we are going to improve our mechanization. We've identified part of the infrastructure development to be within the region. The government believes the infrastructural rejuvenation drive, including the rail and highways coming up across the country, would provide the necessary basis for the economic building blocks in the works. And the administration aims to systematically address the root causes of food insecurity. The strategy in progress economic reforms, targeted agricultural policies, and sustainable practices to establish a resilient food system capable of meeting Nigeria's nutritional needs sustainably. The massive boost coming from the government is a two trillion naira package to fund health and social welfare, agriculture and food security, energy and power, and general business support, among others. This plan is a means of trying to stabilize the economy and get business growing again. We know what has happened since the macroeconomic measures which were necessary and which have been implemented uh, in a determined uh, and, and um, uh, consistent manner. They led to elevated costs both for industry and for individuals. This is a government of dialogue with the private sector their input matters, their support matters, and we are encouraged that they support the macroeconomic reforms that are being undertaken. And now, the Presidential Economic Coordination Council is coming to play some roles. I look forward to us creating more jobs for our people and to us also supporting the small and medium-scale enterprises. We'll start meeting immediately and I can I assure you, you see a lot of changes coming. I know that everybody is in a hurry, but uh, we have what it takes to turn around this economy. Things are not going to be bad. We are now just going to we've gone to the bottom, but we are going to rise up and make sure that we make every single Nigerian proud to be a Nigerian. And from here, Recommendations are expected from the monthly meetings of the Council for short and long-term implementations.